This three year old Charlotte boy was born deaf, but thanks to a new surgery, he can now hear. Now, check this out. He's the first child in the country to undergo this procedure. WBTV Sharon Smith talked to the family today and joins us on set. Now, Sharon, such an amazing and incredible story. I'm really glad we got to do this one. It's pretty neat. The procedure is called an auditory brain stem implant. Grayson was born completely deaf, missing the nerves that act as a bridge in our ears. And three weeks ago, a whole new world opened up to him. Think about everything we hear around us every day. The layers of noise outside, from buses to trucks to people. Until three weeks ago, Grayson Clamp had no idea what that bird sounded like. It's a thrill for his parents, Nicole and Lynn Clamp, to witness. He likes sound. He enjoys the stimulus, the input. He's curious and he definitely enjoys it. But his device needs fine tuning. Grayson's speech is delayed. There is still work to do. We don't really know exactly what it's like for him. We don't know exactly what he hears, if he hears everything we hear, some of what we hear. Um, his brain is still trying to organize itself to use sound. Grayson's device uses a microchip on his brain to compute the sound. The installation was a groundbreaking procedure at UNC hospitals. Here he is listening to his dad for the very first time. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Daddy. Yes, here. He believes Grayson's story will help a lot more children and help doctors improve the technology. It's a journey he believes started well before this little boy was born. He and Nicole decided to be foster parents. They wanted to help medically fragile children. We got Grayson, took him home from the hospital, uh, and and he you know he just he belonged. He he was ours from from I think day one. He changed their lives and they are changing his, giving him the gift of sound. Don't you love him? The clamps. Uh. I know you're just happy watching that, right? The clamps keep going to Chapel Hill every week to test and mm -hmm. kind of tweak Grayson's mm -hmm. device. And they adopted him soon soon after he came into their home with foster care. They just believe this is part of their faith journey. Right. They have another child, just a special family. What a commitment. That is wonderful. And that video of when he realizes he's hearing his dad's voice. Ah. Amazing. Yes. Sharon, thank you for sharing this story. Of course. Well,